How to read a floppy disk on a modern PC or Mac. Remember floppies? Back in the day, they were essential. Eventually, they were replaced, and floppy disk drives vanished from new computers. Here's how to access a vintage 3.5 or 5.25 inch floppy disk on a modern Windows PC or Mac. Before we begin, you should understand a huge caveat. What we're going to cover here, copying data from a vintage floppy disk onto a modern PC, is only half the battle. Once you copy the data, you have to be able to read it. It might be locked in vintage file formats modern software can't understand. You'll have to figure out how to access or convert the data using emulators, such as DOSBox or other utilities, which is beyond the scope of this article. If you have 3.5-inch floppy disks formatted for MS-DOS or Windows that you want to copy to a modern Windows 10 or Windows 7 PC, you're in luck. This is the easiest format to work with. The 3.5-inch floppy drives held on as a legacy product long after their 1.44 MB capacity had become absurdly small in relative terms. As a result, there are many semi-modern drives and solutions available. We'll cover the options from easiest to most difficult. If you browse Amazon, Newegg, or even eBay, you'll find many inexpensive, anywhere from $10 to $30, modern USB 3.5-inch floppy drives. If you're in a hurry and want a plug-and-play solution for just a disc or two, this might be worth a shot. However, in our experience, these drives are often frustrating in their unreliability. So, before you dive in, read through some of the reviews. Make sure you're okay with risking your vintage data on a drive that probably cost only a couple of dollars to produce. In the late 90s and early, oh, many manufacturers of slim laptops, like HP, Sony, and Dell, also produced external USB floppy drives. These vintage drives have much higher quality parts than the cheap USB drives now on Amazon. They're also still recent enough to work without any repair. We recommend searching eBay for something like Sony USB floppy drive and trying your luck with one of those. Most are still supported as plug and play devices by Windows 10. Despite the branding, you don't need a drive that matches your PC. For example, a Sony USB floppy drive will work when connected to a USB port on any Windows PC. If you're looking for more of a roll-your-own challenge, you could also buy a vintage internal 3.5-inch floppy drive. Perhaps you even have one sitting around. You can connect it to a generic floppy to USB adapter. You can rig an external power supply for the floppy drive with the proper adapter. Another option is to mount the drive and adapter internally in a computer case. And then use a SATA power adapter there. We haven't tested those boards though, so proceed at your own risk. If you have an older Windows 98, Mi, XP, or 2000 PC or laptop with Ethernet and a 3.5-inch floppy drive, it might be able to read and copy the floppy to the computer's hard drive. Then, you can copy the data over your LAN to a modern PC. The trickiest part is making sure the LAN networking between your vintage and modern machines works properly. It comes down to making Windows file sharing from different eras play nice with one another. You can also upload files to an FTP site, perhaps, via a local NAS server, and then download them to your modern PC. If you have 5.25-inch floppy disks formatted for MS-DOS or Windows you want to copy to a modern Windows PC, you have a more difficult task ahead of you. This is because 5.25-inch floppies fell out of regular use in the mid-1990s. So finding a working 5.25-inch floppy drive can be a challenge. A small company called Device Side Data manufactures an adapter called the FC5025. It allows you to use an internal 5.25-inch floppy disk drive to copy data from 5.25-inch disks in various formats over a USB cable to a modern PC. The board costs around $55. However, you'll also need all the necessary cables, a power supply with a Molex connector for the drive, and, possibly, a vintage external 5.25-inch drive bay enclosure if you want a nice unit. Once you get it set up, 
The FC5205 is definitely worth it. Though, it's especially helpful if you also have 5.25 inch discs for non IBM PC systems, such as Apple II, that you want to back up. The FC5025 copies the floppy data to disk image files. So you'll also need a disk image tool, like Winimage, to read and extract the data. Much like the FC5025, the Cryoflux is a floppy to USB adapter that requires a great deal of setup to get working. Again, you'll need the Cryoflux board, a vintage 5.25 inch floppy drive, a power supply, cables, and, possibly, an enclosure. The Cryoflux copies the disk's data to disk image files. You can then use these with emulators or access them with a disk image tool. Like Winimage, the advantage of Cryoflux is it can back up copy protected disks or disks in many other system formats, Apple II. C64, and so on, and it does so with a high degree of accuracy. Second, it's intended for the academic software preservation market rather than general consumers. This is why backing up, or even accessing the data on the disk, isn't a very user-friendly operation. If you have an older PC running Windows 98 or ME with Ethernet and a 5.25-inch floppy drive, it might be able to read the floppy so you can copy the data over LAN to a modern PC. The same is the 3.5-inch drive option. You might have trouble getting Windows file sharing to work properly between a vintage and modern PC. There are other options, though. One is uploading the files to an FTP server from the old machine, and then downloading them from that server to the newer computer. The process of reading floppy disks on a Mac depends on which type of disk you want it to read. We'll go over each type in the following sections. If you have 1.44 MB Mac floppies, a modern Mac running macOS 10.14 Mojave or earlier should be able to read them with a vintage USB floppy drive. Many people prefer the Imation Superdisk LS120 USB drive. It's a zip drive competitor that reads both its original, high-capacity floppies and regular, 1.44 MB floppies. You can still find these for a reasonable price on eBay. You can also use a vintage Sony or HP USB floppy drive. If your machine's running macOS 10.15 or later, you're out of luck when it comes to native USB floppy support. Though, Apple removed support for the hierarchical file system, HFS, on vintage Mac floppies starting with Catalina. There might be some technical workarounds, including restoring HFS support, but these are complex, and options are still emerging. If you want your Mac to read IBM PC format 3.5-inch floppies, you can use a vintage PC USB floppy drive. Ironically, Catalina can still read the FAT12 file system used by vintage MS-DOS floppies, but not old Mac disks. We tried a Sony VAIO floppy drive with a 2013 iMac. It didn't have any trouble reading the files on a high-density, 3.5-inch IBM PC format disk. You can likely find a good Sony or HP USB floppy drive on eBay. If you have 400 or 800K Mac floppies, things get much more complicated. The disk drives that wrote these used special encoding called GCR. This technique isn't physically supported in most USB 3.5-inch floppy drives. Recently, though, a new option called Applesauce emerged for archiving 400-800K Mac disks. It's a USB adapter that allows you to connect vintage Apple II and Macintosh floppy drives to a modern Mac and read vintage floppies with incredible accuracy. The biggest drawback is its price. The deluxe version you need to read Mac floppies is $285. This is mostly because it's a complex, very low-volume hobbyist product. With this device and the appropriate vintage drive, though, you can read your floppies into disk images that can be used with emulators or extracted with other tools. For all Mac disks, your best bet might be to find a vintage Mac desk or laptop with a 3.5-inch SuperDrive that can read and write 400-800-K and 1.44 MB disks. Try to locate a machine from the Beige G3 era that's still shipped with floppies. The newer the better.
because then you're less likely to have to make repairs to get it working. From there you can use networking to copy the files between the vintage and modern Macs. But that's another can of worms. Entirely. When backing up old floppy disks. All the possible combinations of drives, systems, and formats comprise a complex variety of strategies that we can't possibly cover here. Luckily, there are other resources if you require something more complex. Like accessing an 8-inch floppy drive that contains CPM files. Herb Johnson maintains an impressive site full of technical data on various floppy disk systems if you'd like to learn more about how they work. Text source, howtogeek.com.